So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. And here we have Stuttgart against Hanover. I'm Peter Drury, and here with me in the commentary box, I'm glad to report, is Jim Beglin. Well, thank you very much, Mr Drury, and hello to everyone. for the game. Gets things running. Surely a shot. Chance. They've scored. And the game springs instantly to life. High-quality goal, lovely first touch, sumptuous second. Stuttgart ahead, one goal to the good. Tries to stroke it through. And through to the goalkeeper. Passes it through. Now here's the through ball. That'll go straight through to the keeper. Tries the route one option. Tries to dink it in. Has a swing at it! And he's there to make a great save. Well, I can only add that. He's got reflexes that are in perfect working order, Peter. That was very good to watch. <laughs> Zila deals with it effortlessly. Insua. Stuttgart are already ahead, the perfect start. Well, they've managed to get their noses in front early because they've been much quicker out of the stalls. They've set a high tempo and intensity and look as though they, they want it much more at the moment. The ball's come loose and the chase is on. Stuttgart scoring in the first 10 minutes to make it 1-0. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Tries a through ball. Hanover have a free kick. And that's going to be a booking. Uh, the protest continues, but in the end they are defending the indefensible. Going to find its target. Good run down the left. 
What can they make of it? Now the pass. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Gets it back. That's gone a long way up and away. Looks like a good ball through. Now here's the through ball. Comes in hard, but he's taken enough of the ball. It's all a little short of forward momentum, lacking thrust. Harnik. He's pulled him up for that challenge. Just the talking to, I think. Yes, it is. the greatest of balls. Aimed long and direct. In sewer. Spread it wide. Defence can get it clear. Cuts it out, boots it upfield. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Knocks one in. Play, and it is a goal kick. Plays it into the channel. Now here's the through ball. Keeper's ball. Five minutes of the first half. Gets his foot in there. Looks to slip it through. Gets up to hit it! He has done it! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! And however many surrounded him, that is what he can do. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't see him on. It's really crafty business, that. Stuttgart get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to their lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. It's long and forward. There's the whistle for half-time. So your views on the first half? Well, it's looking pretty straightforward, Peter. They've got themselves into a, a very good position, so why dither from here when they can repeat their first-half success with a, another show of strength? Stuttgart sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. There's the start of the second half. Get the pass he's looking for. Get a throw in. Harnik. And 
that's another throw. Floats one over. Sticks in a foot to win it back. Looks it towards the front. Glued to his feet. Some good play on the left hand side now to profit from it. Pumps it upfield. They're actually not getting too tight, which is interesting. No. It's probably cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. Speculative strike. Danger averted for now. from distance and he's there to hoof it away Stuttgart yet dipped into their subs and that's not the cross he had in mind Progress he's made on the ball. Where to next? Dinks one in. Has a shot! Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. And that all stems from great vision, you know. What a delightful little ball over the top that was. Checks on the touchline, a change about to occur. So he's got himself a goal, and now he gets himself an ovation on the way off. Look, you can only give your all, and he's delivered in that regard, and I think the manager has probably just spotted now a little tiredness creeping in, and, you know, if that's the case, then, you know, he's doing the right thing. Seems now to be all about width. Well, when you have the personnel to create in wide areas, then they need to see as much of the ball as possible. Harnick, deftly done. Pumps it forwards. Another piece of really good defending. Oh, good interception. Gets it upfield. It's a very good battle there, terrific to watch. He's made sure that that won't get through. Tries to locate someone up front. Looks like a good ball through. Who's going to make this theirs? He's off on a marauding run. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. It's a long pass, but not the most accurate. All 
the way back and they start again. Well played, he saw that coming. It's a long forward pass. Out to the left it goes. Drills one in. Beats it first time! They are rampant! And the lead is three! It is surely done! All over in seconds. That's what they can do to you. Yes, the turn and finish is to be admired, but what about the sense of urgency and desire to move the ball with such pace on the break as soon as it was retrieved? without reply this is becoming a stroll that was good pressing forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening well positioned to make that interception and back to base A long pass towards the front. And he's made certain that won't get through. Now it's Harnick, and the flag has stayed down. Time is up. Stuttgart enjoy their perfect day. For their victims, it is entirely imperfect. Comprehensive winners of a one-sided contest. How would you sum up what we've witnessed, Jim? Well, tactically, they looked as if they got that spot on. I think when you push up at the back to the extent they did, then there must be a pressure on the ball ahead of things. Otherwise, your whole system is going to break down. And I think there was, there was a good discipline about what they did, really, in affecting that. Well, thanks for your company, Jim.